This is a Fox News alert. I'm Doug McKelway in for Brett Baer. It had been 275 days since Hillary Clinton held a formal news conference. She has just landed in Illinois aboard her new campaign plane, and she has finally taken questions from media members traveling with her today. This is a tape feed of that reporter gaggle. Let's listen up. Messages that people around the world are taking from that. So the fact that our intelligence services are now viewing Russian activity uh, as a potential threat against our electoral system uh, raises further questions about Trump, and uh, I think those are questions the American people should be asking and answering. Madam Secretary, the FBI report cited several instances of the line where you could not recall facts about the classification system, about how you were trained when you went in, Not at all, Andrea. You know, I went into the State Department understanding classification. I'd been on the Senate Armed Services Committee uh, for years before I was Secretary of State. I take classification seriously. Um, the fact I couldn't remember certain meetings, uh, whether or not they had occurred, doesn't in any way affect uh, the uh, commitment that I had and still have uh, to the uh, treatment of classified material. about cyber when I was Secretary of State. I know those conversations have continued. I know that the President raises them in every meeting that he has. Uh, I think it's fair to say that as we saw from both Democratic and Republican Presidents during the Cold War, we do keep talking to our adversaries. Um, when I was Secretary of State, we negotiated a new treaty to reduce nuclear weapons and introduced the most uh, invasive um, surveillance system we've ever had uh, with respect to the Russians. So I think we have to continue to look for ways that we can uh, work with Putin, but to make it very clear to him that we are not going to tolerate uh, the kinds of uh, behavior that uh, Russian intelligence has engaged in and that uh, my opponent has uh, applauded. Secretary, 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 Secretary,
Okay, Dan. It's been a goal of President Obama from uh, the very beginning of his administration, and it should remain the goal of the next president. Uh, Guantanamo Bay, as I think we all recognize, uh, became a, a symbol of a lot of the uh, problems that uh, were started under the Bush administration and which have not uh, served us well in terms of relations around the world. So I would like to see it closed. Uh, there are, as you know, uh, legislative uh, blockade uh, problems with that, but we should keep trying to close it. What? Well, let's wait and see what the president's able to accomplish before I, I discuss it. Hi. The question um, is about uh, uh, the Russians and uh, do I think they're trying to help Trump? That's the are they trying to help Trump? Are they, right? Um, I often quote a um, <clears throat> great saying that I learned from living in Arkansas a lot of years. If you find a turtle on a fence post, it didn't get there by accident. I think it's quite uh, intriguing that this activity has happened um, <coughs> around the time Trump became the nominee. And look, he very early on allied himself with Putin's policies. I mean, to pull out of NATO for goodness sakes, right? And he furthermore has praised Putin. He seems to have this you know, bizarre attraction to dictators including Putin. He won't tell us where he owes $650 million. There's a lot of rumors about that. <clears throat> and <clears throat> he has, you know, made it clear that um, he doesn't particularly care whether Putin and the intelligence services attack American institutions. So, <clears throat> get some water. Yep. Well, that was Hillary Clinton. Uh, her press conference there aboard her new campaign plane, interrupted by a coughing fit, the second coughing fit that she's had today. This press conference, the first in 275 days, uh, brought to you by virtue of the fact that she does have a new campaign plane uh, on which the embedded reporters who have been covering her for the better part of two years now uh, have access to her, and she uh, accommodated that by coming back to their section of the plane and answering some substantive questions. We'll have more of that and more on that with the panel uh, later in this program. Labor Day. Of course, is the unofficial start of the presidential campaign season. And so it is fitting that both nominees were hard at work today trying to gain support in a blue collar state that both campaigns feel is absolutely crucial to victory. Hillary Clinton was in Ohio early today. Correspondent Peter Ducey is with the Trump team in Canfield, Ohio, where he spoke with the Republican candidate. The big draw at the biggest county fair in Ohio, Donald Trump and Mike Pence. I think it's incredible. I mean, they've never seen one like this, so it's pretty good. Walking past classic carnival rides and vendors selling corn dogs and funnel cakes, the businessman and the governor made their way to the Mahoning County GOP booth, where local officials have been working to spread the word to the 260,000 people who have visited this fair so far this week. Here in Ohio, what is going to be the biggest challenge here in other swing states well, for you? Know. We're up three four points in Ohio. It just came out, so I, you see the crowds. I, I love Ohio. We're going to bring jobs back, Peter. The economy was the big focus here in Canfield and in Cleveland this morning, where Trump blamed problems in the country on President Obama, but problems in this swing state on local leaders. I think it's just a great place, and it's, uh, it's been abused like every, every state. It's not like 
Ohio. It's every state has been abused by incompetent leadership especially as it, come, as it comes to jobs. Immigration is Trump's other signature issue, and he's seeking to clarify his position about what he wants to do with illegal immigrants who are criminals. I'm not ruling out anything. No, no, I'm Including not getting a pathway to legal status. Uh, no, to become a citizen, you're going to have to go out and come back but in. Short of Through the system. process, you're going to have to get online. But, but this isn't touchback. No, no, this, I, I this guess, is you. No, I, you I have guess. to go out and you have to get online. You have to come back in. The Buckeye State is unique because campaign manager Kellyanne Conway sees Trump getting a lot of support here from Democrats. We know that there are many crossover voters for Mr. Trump, particularly in the primaries. You saw, I think Pennsylvania was a great example of that, Kevin, where a number of Democratic and independent voters uh, crossed over to support him in the Republican primary. Another way to reach Democrats and independents, three debates with Hillary Clinton. And today, Trump told us how he's getting ready for his first ever one-on-one -on -one debate. You know, I think I'm preparing somewhat like I prepared for the other debates. I think I'm preparing, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I enjoyed the debating process. I did, obviously, I did well in the debates. According to the polls. A sign that Ohio is critical for the Trump team is that the nominee and the running mate were together at all stops all day, which is rare. Somebody said he's the exact opposite of Trump, and I said that's a good thing. Because we don't need two of them, believe me. And before leaving the state, Pence gave us his version of the Republicans' closing argument. I think the American people know that we can do better than a 1% economy. I think they know that Donald Trump has a vision to get this economy moving again with lower taxes, less regulation, repealing Obamacare, smarter and tougher trade deals. You see this enormous crowd that's coming out because Donald Trump is going to make America great again. Trump, of course, also talks a lot about building a wall. And here in Canfield, Ohio, his supporters actually built one, but they didn't make Mexico pay for it. Instead, asking fairgoers to pay five bucks for a brick with their name on it, money that'll go to help Republicans in local races in Ohio get elected. Doug? Peter Dusigan, Canfield, Ohio. Tonight, thank you, Peter.